Hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, October 10th. Chance to be outside in the clouds and the mist this morning, so here I am. Well, look at uh, for the everyday thought, Proverbs 16, 2. Bruce Walke's translation says, all the ways of a man's heart, a person's heart, are pure in his own thinking. But it's the Lord who evaluates the motives. And that's the truth that we want to hang on to, that we can have our thoughts and intentions, but if I don't evaluate them against the Lord's ways, and the Lord's ways are made clear to us in His will. We talked about that last night in Romans 12, that I test the Lord's ways, I know Him, by evaluating it against His Word, that's His revealed will. So I can have all the motives and intentions that I want, and I think that they are pure, but if I don't evaluate them, if I don't encourage others to evaluate them by that will of God, then I have no way of being confident about that. And then there's a, a corollary to this point, that if I cannot safely evaluate my own mo motives, I need the Word of God to do that, then I certainly cannot even begin to evaluate the motives of other people. And that's the struggle that you and I face because we're not often sure where we think we should be, and yet we determine and we think our motives are gonna save us, if I have good motives, if I have good intentions, but good intentions are not safe. Only evaluating against the Word of God is safe, which is what Proverbs is warning us again again in 16.2, that it's the Lord who evaluates the motives. Very similar to Proverbs 3, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Examine everything against the backdrop of doing things in the presence of God to honor Him. Because if I'm wise in my own eyes, then I'm headed for destruction. Well, that's, that's what we're being taught here. I can have these motives. I think they're pure. I think they're great. But if I don't evaluate them against the Lord's perspective, His will, then I'm being wise in my own lives. And that leads to destruction. Maybe massive scale, maybe just minor mess ups. But I've always got to be that conscious. So I can't trust my motives. I can't trust my intentions. I have to weigh those against the Word of God. Doesn't mean I shouldn't care. Doesn't mean I shouldn't be passionate. I should be passionate. But that passionate passion should be directed through the Word of God directed to the will of God through His Word. That way, I'm not trusting in my own ways. I'm not trusting in my own heart. I'm not trusting my own motives. And I'm certainly not going to go out and judge and intent and um, make judgments upon the motives of others. But yet, if I do these things with the will of God, if I make a right judgment, as John calls us to in chapter seven, then I can be confident. I can take a hard stand without realizing, without thinking, without laboring under the issue that I am being directed by my own desires. But rather, I'm checking where I want to be. I'm testing and approving the word of my ways against the word of God. I'm tasting and seeing that's good. So that's how Proverbs 16, 2 brings us back to reality. Yes, in my own heart, all my motives and ways and intentions are good, pure, spot on but I've got to take those and evaluate them against God because He's the one who evaluates my motives. And the way I know His evaluation is by trusting His Word and not leaning out on my own understanding. And that's the thought for this morning. Proverbs 16, too. It's a valuable, a valuable proverb. You have a great day and a great Saturday, and uh, Lord willing, we'll be in touch tonight. See you now. Bye-bye.